juvenile hall. The Center for Young Women's Development in San Francisco is a nonprofit organization originally called the Street Survival Project. It is run by young women, all under the age of 27, who work with other young women from the streets and the juvenile justice system, providing them with educational and employment opportunities and helping them to build healthier lives and healthier communities. The idea of this place was birthed in 1992 when a woman named Rachel Pfeffer, who is now Rachel Pfeffer PhD, uh, got together with some service providers from San Francisco to talk about the laps and services for girls who were working in the underground street economy. Girls who were selling dope, girls who were doing prostitution, girls who were parenting themselves, who needed to figure out how to get a roof over their own heads, girls who no one else really wanted to work with or work for. So keep doing little things like that to, for you to show that there's an initiative, just in life, in school, at your job, because it still is a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't get twisted. Same for West Club. Latifah yeah. Simon began working at the center as a community health outreach worker at 17, and at the age of 19, was named its executive director. Her passion and commitment have aided in the center's growth and development. We work for a population that has been ignored by everyone except ourselves. Folks are continuing to talk about juvenile justice and how do we reform a system. And what we're really saying is, you have no idea what this particular population lived through. Marlene Sanchez, currently the center's program director, was recruited from the streets of San Francisco in 1995 while she was still involved in gangs and drugs. In and out of trouble with the law, her constant connection with the center helped her turn her life around. Society sometimes doesn't give us those second chances. Um, programs sometimes don't give us those second chances. But at the center, we feel that it's those second chances that will eventually, like, you know, help you be successful. Because if, if people would have gave up on me, Ten different times, like, I wouldn't have been here right now, you know, and it was those times where people forgave me, but gave me another chance. The work of the center is focused in four primary areas, providing for the physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional health of young women, developing critical thinking through civic activities, political education, and policy work, promoting community building through street outreach, organizing campaigns, conferences, and trainings, and developing skills in literacy, math, job etiquette, and conflict resolution. So we've done street-based outreach for years, we've done work in juvenile hall for years, we've consistently provided jobs for young women who've been on the streets and in juvenile hall and in the foster care system.